This is a drift trike, except it's powered by a one wheel, has no gas or brake pedal, and is controlled entirely by the steering wheel. So why would I need to build something with just one input? That also drifts. Well, that's because cars are so confusing. Buttons, pedals, levers. I mean, how are you supposed to even get to work in this thing? What if I reduce all these inputs down to one? Now that's something I could see driving to work. And while I'm reinventing the wheel, I might as well improve the whole driving experience. If I've learned anything from video games, it's that drifting makes you go faster. So obviously this futuristic, simpler way to get to work needs to be able to drift. Converting my truck into a one input, fully driftable, get me to work machine seemed expensive and probably illegal. So I'm gonna have to make it on a smaller scale. And instead of all those complicated parts a normal car has in the front, use a simple one input, one wheel. With one wheels, all you have to do to move is lean forward or backwards. However, they have one fatal flaw. They don't drift. I'll import a one wheel into Fusion 360 and design the framework for the top and bottom of the board, which will bolt together through these holes, firmly securing itself to the board. The second part of the frame connects to the one wheel's framework with a ball joint, allowing it to pivot in any direction. The rear will have some free spinning wheels with PVC tubing acting as drift sleeves. Then there's a seat, and a steering column that slides through a spherical bearing combined with a universal joint allows the rider to control the speed by pushing or pulling the steering wheel. The same for the steering. With the one wheel, multiple joints and axes, and my experience building weird vehicles, I can only confidently give version 1 a 30% chance of working properly. I pulled the design off the computer and showed some engineering buddies and the trike building community, and they either had no idea if it would work or were adamant that it would absolutely not work. However, everyone that knew me knew one thing. I was going to build it anyways. I immediately got started with the one wheels framework. I needed to get done with the build before my 9 to 5 shift on Monday, because I sure as heck wasn't going to drive to work in that death trap. If I could just get the framework together, I'd only have to do everything else just to finish in time. Because of the way I'm interacting with the one wheel, figuring out exactly how everything needs to be connected was uncharted territory. It was going to require careful calculations, meticulous planning, and uh, alright, never mind. I'm just going to start welding, I guess. Yo, what are you doing? We're filming. Sorry. It looks good. Now that the one wheel's framework is complete, let's go over some goals. When building a strange new mode of transportation, it can be hard to define success. So let's go over a few things I'd like to accomplish with this build. <laughs> you okay? First goal, needs to be easily operated with just my hands via a one input steering wheel. Two, I want to do sweet drifts on a drift track. And three, it's gotta be so good that it breaks a person's brain entirely. With a firm understanding of what needed to be done, it was time to get drifty. And that I'm gonna raise the axle, lowering the trike's center of gravity, allowing me to slide, slide, slippity slide. Now I needed to use the tube bender to bend the frame into shape. I keep that upstairs along with my other large tools and projects. Knowing that this part of the trike would experience the most stress, I needed to be as strong as possible. So I bent the tube instead of cutting and welding it. Time felt like it was moving faster than normal, and I didn't want to be late for my shift. With the most complicated parts of the build completed, it was just a matter of attaching some additional bracing, the connecting joint for the steering column, the steering shaft to the steering wheel, swivel bearing, seat, and wheels, and secured the one wheel inside the frame, popped on the steering wheel, and baby, you got a drift trike going. This was where I hit my first major issue. When it goes forward, it just wants to stay forward, which means I'll be going full speed and I'll be trying to pull it back. Guys, why aren't the brakes working? Because I cut the brakes! Wild car, bitches! Yeah! The steering was even worse. This first test was not going well, and I began to worry that I might not make it to work on time. I figured a new part that mounted at the center of the board would function better, and I had a pretty good idea of what it would look like. However, part of me thinks it's gonna work really well, but the other part of me is not too sure. So I went to the depot to find some inspiration, and there it was. I found the solution to my problem almost immediately. The next step, take this photo and upload it into CAD. I sure am lucky my computer still has a CD drive. 
So I removed the wheel and this little part should solve all my problems. It'll connect to the one wheel frame through these bearings, allowing it to rotate forwards and backwards. The second frame will have a piece of tubing with a bearing at each end that'll connect to the shaft, allowing it to turn. All right, well, I made the changes. Let's see how well this works. Okay. The second major issue I experienced was the steering was binding up. So I it down the shaft and it moves a lot easier now. I was beginning to feel more confident with how well this part was performing. But when I pulled back to right here, I'd lose all my steering. This was by far the most time consuming and most confusing project. I was clueless until I realized that when the universal joint is over the pivot point, I lose all steering. I'm gonna make it so that the universal joint never gets past this point. I'm tempted to get it and ride it to work, but it's just way too sketchy. With my confidence level rising, I went to my local electric vehicle specialist to test the upgrades. That's nice. With the steering dead zone eliminated, there was just one final issue with the build. The limited turning. The spherical bearing restricts you from turning the wheel all the way to the right or the left. So I tried a few different mounting points to see if that would help. And uh, <laughs> it did not. So I just said, good enough. Bang. It was finally time to test the track. Wait a minute, I forgot to tell you what this brake lever does. Squeezing the brake lever makes the arm press down on both sensors, engaging the motor. When things get too crazy, just release the lever to disengage. We got kicked out of the shop for some reason. <laughs> Which was fine, because it was time to test the trike. It was tons of fun, but I can't help but to like fully spin out. So I let Jake give it a shot. Oh my god! What's the curve? It seemed he was experiencing the same struggles, <laughs> until... Ow! Why'd you bite me? Bang! That bite had unlocked something inside of Jake, and suddenly he was able to understand the secret of drifting, believing in yourself, and counter-steering. Oh man, that thing is too fun. That is so fun. My back hurts. <laughs> Armed with that knowledge, I started to get a grip on driving this thing. <laughs> oh, you want to do speed test out there? Yeah. Let's just go out there. <gasps> this thing was fast. A normal one wheel tops out at about 18 miles an hour, but this design could push the motor past its theoretical limits. 25.3? I didn't even know. They, I thought they stopped at 20 miles an hour. You were pushing past pushback. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was safe to say, I might make it to work on time. With no further changes needed, I could add some color to the frame. Driving the trike was surprisingly intuitive, and sliding around was way too much fun. The only issue was the spherical bearing wouldn't let me turn beyond 45 degrees, so I kept spinning out. Then after about 30 minutes, I had a real problem on my hands. The steering started to bind up again, causing the throttle to stick, which meant now I was unstoppable in a bad way. This is the bike where we blow up! Not done. So this steering setup is straight up garbanzo beans. The shaft is sliding through the spherical bearing and it's getting scraped up. It's causing a lot of debris and that debris is getting stuck in here and that's what's preventing the thing from sliding that well. So the way I'm going to fix that is with this. That's definitely not a turret. So I took the design from a camera's tripod there's a bearing here and here, and that allows it to spin like this. And there's a bearing here and here, and that allows it to pivot like this. And these silver things are called linear bearings, and that allows the steering shaft to slide linearly. Who would have thought you needed to turn with a drift cart? <laughs> this is officially version 5 of the trike. The steering system actually allowing me to steer was a game changer. And my confidence was at an all-time high. Version 5.0 is so much better. However, I wasn't going to be able to engineer my way to 100% confidence. I needed to practice. In order to drift my way to work, I needed to find some people that drifted for work. So I found a drift thing. And what better way to learn something than to fully immerse yourself in the culture. This is so cool. Backwards, forwards. The horn's a nice shot. Thing I've ever Thank you. Yeah, I came here to get some inspiration on how to learn how to drift. Do you want to ride along? Yeah. Without hesitation, I entered this stranger's souped up, drift ready supercar. Let's go. There was both an elegance and a violence to the way we pirouetted around the track, dancing within inches of each other. The driver Gabe was one with his machine, controlling it as if it were an extension of himself. 
Feeling energized and enlightened, I was ready to drift. And conveniently enough, we were told that there's a second track we can go drift on. What's up, buddy? Oh. Turns out, being energized and enlightened doesn't suddenly make you good at something. But I was willing to push myself to become the best one-wheel power drift trike conversion driver in the world. Because how else am I supposed to get to work? And just when I was starting to get the hang of it, it's dead. Not bad way to get home. That was a success. Learned how to drift. Almost threw up while drifting, but didn't admit it. I think I'm a drift professional. I think we're ready to go pro. I knew a one input control system would be simpler if it weren't so dang complex. And after a week of practice, I was beginning to dance. My confidence was maxed out, and I was ready for my next challenge, the corkscrew garage. And I knew if I could handle drifting in a combined space, I'd be ready for my final challenge, returning to the drift track. Drift? What do you mean, drift? I wonder if you know, how does a one wheel go? If you see me and I'm drifting, then you must have said, whoa, are you curious? Hey. Nope. Nope. Yes. With nearly all of my accomplishments complete, it was time to put together everything I had learned. Before I could take to the streets and drive to work, I returned to the drift track. This time, with 100% confidence. One of the most amazing moments in my life. I took what felt like an impossible task and kept moving forward and iterating until I had this. It's without a doubt the coolest thing I've ever made and the handling is effortless. Now that I had finished my simple safe driving vehicle, there was just one thing left to do, get to work. And not a moment too soon, I only had a few minutes before 9 a.m. You are late. It's just 9.01, I didn't think you'd notice. You didn't think I would notice a minute? And four months late? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, well, I got that assignment you asked for. Oh, sweet, let's take a look. This is a drift trike. I can tell. This is going to be a good one. Has no gas Who's there? Oh, that's cameraman John. He follows me around, films me. Oh, that's what he looks like? Yeah, I know, right? Hey, we're done for the day. You want to come watch with us? All right, come on. By the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I have what I need to build something with just one input that also drifts. <laughs>